A seemingly simple task. But Lulu has other ideas. In the wild, the higher a male leaves his mark, the stronger and more virile he's considered, and the more attractive he is to the ladies. With Lulu safely indoors, it's time to introduce Fei-Fei. At first sight, it seems that Lulu, like Wu Gong, isn't at all interested in Fei-Fei. But the keeper's experience tells a different story. It may be early for the adults, but for the products of last year's meeting, it's well past their bedtime. Not that many of the cubs make a distinction between sleep and activity. As evening draws on, Fei-Fei's hormone level peaks, and as it begins to fall, the pressure is on for one of the male pandas to perform. Despite his earlier lack of interest, the keepers decide to give Wu Gong another go. At first, things seem to be going well. But then Wu Gong seems to lose all sense of direction. <laughs> Fei Fei in turn loses patience with him and vents her frustration. <laughs> disappointed keepers take an even more disappointed Fei Fei back to her own pen. It's time to bring Lulu in again. <laughs> to everyone's relief, not least Fei-Fei's, tonight's mating is a success. Copulation lasts a highly satisfactory six minutes and 29 seconds. <laughs>
Having been up most of the night, Lulu is in need of a little rest and recuperation. Wu Gong, however, still has a healthy appetite. But his lacklustre performance the previous day has serious implications. Half of the centre's female panda's oestrogen levels are now peaking. They need to be mated soon or there won't be enough pandas next year. They cannot rely solely on Lulu, despite his successful track record, because they must introduce more males to the breeding group and widen the gene pool. Ling Ling, the third male on the team, is introduced to Cao Cao. But things don't quite work out. He appears no more adept at mating than Wu Gong. Enforcements are required. They come in the shape of Chung Chung, whose name means strong. He's actually a 21-year-old male panda in the process of losing his teeth and hair. Chung Chung might not seem an ideal solution to the problem, but he's not expected to perform in the same way as the other males. With the female panda's biological clocks ticking away, Chung Chung has a more indirect but vital role to play. His semen has just been collected in the hospital, and while he recovers from the anaesthetic, his contribution to the breeding program will be put to good use. As has happened many times before. Chung Chung has been a vital, if unwitting, participant in the plan to save the planet's precious pandas. Feifei, having been successfully mated with Lulu, will now undergo artificial insemination. Many of the breeding females at Wulong are artificially inseminated as well as being mated naturally. Twins have played a crucial part in reaching Wulong's breeding target and making it a success story. Check. 